Hi doctors. Today we are going to discuss the drug of the week about proton pump inhibitors. So very important area for MCQ. So if I go for discussion of proton pump inhibitors. First MC question. All the proton pump inhibitors are pro drug. Remember, all are pro drug. Next question. The proton pump inhibitors, they destroyed in acidic medium. So they given us entry coated form. Entry coated. All are destroyed in the uh, acidic medium. So given entry coated. Now I am going to explain the mechanism action based MCQs on proton pump blocker. First question. When I give proton pump blocker, the goes via stomach reaches the small intestine in the intestine they get absorbed they get absorbed they goes to systemic circulation from the systemic circulation then they enter into stomach in the stomach we have one thing called parietal cell imagine it's a parietal cell so my proton pump blocker enter into parietal cell now i'll show in the stomach we have lot and lot of parietal cell i just show one parietal cell here come on just imagine it is a parietal cell okay in the parietal cell we have acidic canaliculi it's called canaliculi acidic canaliculi through this acid getting secreted into lumen it is stomach lumen where acid is secreted now what is the mechanism action of proton pump blocker okay the proton pump blocker once enter into circulation come on imagine once enter into circulation from the circulation look at what super fine the enter into parietal cell Imagine the blue color. There is a proton pump blocker like Omeprazole. Once they enter into pedal cell, they enter into acidic canaliculi. MCQ starts. In the acidic canaliculi, my drug get activated. So MCQ, proton pump blocker activated where? The answer is acidic medium. In the acidic canaliculi. What is the active form? Sulfenamide. The active form is sulfenamide. So, question proton pump blockers of pro drug. Point two, the activated in acidic medium. The active form is sulfenamide compound. Once activated, what they do? They block the pump. What pump? Hydrogen potassium ATPS pump. So, here all my proton pump blockers are irreversibly underline the point irreversibly inhibiting h plus k plus atps that irreversible inhibition is a very 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 important point why important point mean most of the proton pump blocker having half life of t of is only two to three hours even though half life is only two to three hours they able to act for whole day whole 24 hours how it is possible it because of irreversible so next question why why even though proton pump block having short half life how they active for longer period it is because of irreversible proton pump that's the answer once again very important very important point the proton pump the so called H plus K plus ATP is more active in empty stomach. Empty stomach. So, proton pump blocker are taken at empty stomach. One more point. There are in the stomach, we have lot and lot of parietal cells. So, lot and lot of pumps are there. So, majority of pumps, majority of proton pump will be active in morning. Morning hours. So, to attack the large number of pump give proton pump blocker in morning half an hour before meals very important proton pump blockers are given morning time 
because in morning only large number of pumps will be more active more active and we are giving morning and half an hour before meals that's about kinetic and one more important point also most of the proton pump blocker undergoes metabolism by cyp2c19 this is important important most of the proton pump blocker undergoes metabolism by cyp2c19 and they also by cyp3 or 4 mainly by cyp2c19 but here interesting question among the proton pump blocker our omeprazole important important inhibits cyp2c19 okay omeprazole having the property of inhibiting cyp2c19 and the induces cyp1 a2 so very important since omeprazole inhibiting cyp2c19 one super important question you should know we get one drug called clopidogrel it's an anti platelets it's an anti platelet drug this drug is a pro drug this drug is a pro drug so question clopidogrel is a pro drug it's anti platelet so for the anti platelet action it should become active form how it is activated it is activated with the help of cyp2c19 now the question starts when i give omeprazole with clopidogrel come on omeprazole is the cyp2c19 inhibitor clopidogrel activate with the help of cyp2c19 so when you give omeprazole with clopidogrel clopidogrel will not activated so aim is question aim is question clopidogrel omeprazole drug interaction is based on dash enzyme CYP2C19 very important omeprazole clopidogrel drug interaction based on CYP2C19 so omeprazole interfere activation now clopidogrel so which is the proton pump blocker that do not have drug interaction with clopidogrel the answer is pantoprazole among the proton pump blocker pantoprazole do not interfere action of clopidogrel if pantoprazole option given mean well and good otherwise next option rabiprazole so question proton pump blocker that do not have drug interaction with clopidogrel or pantoprazole main option next option rabiprazole so in this slide lot of question first question proton pump blocker so pro drug second question they given as entry quarter form third question activated in acidic medium fourth question active form is sulfenamide fifth question the irreversibly inhibiting proton pump once again even the half life is short acting for long this is called hit and run it's called hit and run action hit and run so ppi are called hit and run drugs short half life long acting sixth question they are given morning after before meals seventh question drug interaction between omeprazole clopidogrel eighth question which is the safer ppa that can be given with clopidogrel in pantoprazole ninth question what are the important example for proton pump blocker we have omeprazole so omeprazole pantoprazole lansoprazole prior prosol like the lot of drugs all or h plus k plus atps hydrogen potassium atps pump blocker irreversible in this first question all the drugs are used orally orally extra point extra point among the ppa nodum s omeprazole pentaprazole lansoprazol can be used intravenous also intravenous again mcq but next mcq lansoprazole safe in pregnancy important important safe in pregnancy and so most important proton pump blocker among the proton pump blocker riprazole the fastest acting agent fastest acting now we know proton pump blockers are reducing acid secretion useful for what there are drug of choice for important question there are drug of choice for so many thing for example number 
ഫോർ എൻ എൻ സി ഡി ഇൻഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് ഗ്യാസ്ട്രിക് അൾസർ പ്രോട്ടൺ പ്രം ബ്ലാക്ക് അൾസർ ഡ്രഗ് ഓഫ് ചോയ്സ് ഫോർ എൻ എൻ സി ഡി ഇൻഡ്യൂസ് അൾസർ നമ്പർ ടു ദർ ആർ ഡ്രഗ് ഓഫ് ചോയ്സ് ഫോർ ജി ഇ ആർ ഡി ഗ്യാസ്ട്രോ ഈസോഫേജ് റിഫ്ലസ് ഡിസീസ് ആൻഡ് ആൾസോ ഡ്രഗ് ഓഫ് ചോയ്സ് ഫോർ ചെസ് അൾസർ ആൻഡ് ആൾസോ ഡ്രഗ് ഓഫ് ചോയ്സ് ഫോർ സോലിഞ്ചർ എലിസൺ സിൻഡ്രോം ദാറ്റ്സ് ഫോർ ഡ്രഗ് ഓഫ് ചോയ്സ് but what is adverse effect usually they don't cause any problem but chronic therapy may cause reduction of b12 absorption resulting in anemia so point 1 vitamin b12 deficiency can occur and then chronic therapy may cause increasing risk of hip bone fracture hip bone fracture and very 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 important because of suppressing acid may cause infection ga infection and also respiratory infection pneumonia and in rodents in small animal hypergastrinemia problem that is in small animal rarely on chronic therapy risk of ckd chronic kidney disease and dementia the chronic kidney disease and dementia these are quite rare problem very rare but for mcq the common problem sometimes they call ga toxicity and which is the vitamin problem in b12 deficiency and risk of fracture hip and ga infection respiratory infection and in small animal hypergastrinemia that is what fundamental now just one more important point newer drug there are some newer drug under the proton pump blocker what are the newer proton pump blockers we have something called tenetoprasol iloprasol tenetoprasol iloprasol here beauty point is the tenetoprasol having half life of about 9 hours so a longest half life a longest half life tenetoprasol usually proton pump blocker have half life of only 2 to 3 hours so long half life tenetoprasol still more new drug usually the proton pump blocker name end the prasol oi prasol lands of prasol whereas we have some more new drug called onoprasan rivaprasan they also never proton pump blocker inhibiting h plus k plus atps irreversibly so remember onoprasan rivaprasan also proton pump blocker so there are more than 10 to 15 points i discuss in proton pump blocker read well thank you all the best